I'm very much in shock. If you had asked me a couple weeks ago, I wouldn't have been in shock. I don't know, I did so much preparing for it to Isaac. be Isaac. Because Daniel's filming on another set for a couple weeks. As of today, I didn't see it coming. I mean, like, when 3B first started and everyone was like, there's going to be a character death, I literally was like, it's going to be Allison. I mean, I had the whole Nagitsune theory, which was apparently wrong, but I was right about her dying. And, like, everybody was like, oh, these people are confirmed. The only two not confirmed are Crystal and Hecklin. And for some reason, like, I love Crystal. I think she's fantastic. And, like, Allison wasn't my favorite character, but, like, I still liked her. We were even just talking today. In the car! About, you know, how her catchphrase being, I can I take can care of myself. myself. And I was finally able to pinpoint today that the reason that I hate her saying it so much and it's always really bugged me that she says it so often in the same tone of voice and the same phrasing is because every time she does it, like, for me, it's kind of like one of those, I'll be right back in a horror movie. Just the more you, you never say come it, back. the more you say it, the, more you the less your chances are that you can handle yourself. And one of those days you're going to say that you're going to jinx yourself and you're going to die. And then, and then we, came, we home came into the house. And we watched the episode. And, and we watched her die. Oh, God. I cried for a little bit. Literally, no, I couldn't. I'm just... No. I was very upset while she was in Scout's arms. Oh! We were just talking about the values of Scallison versus Alizak. Obviously, Scallison. Whether or not it was right that in her last moments, Scott was the only one that mattered, even though I apparently they actually got together last episode. And Isaac was standing by alone. I wouldn't have rather her had, like said something to Isaac. Like I'm glad she said it to Scott because Scalison will always be endgame in my book. But like I just feel really bad because Isaac goes through so much shit, always, and he doesn't get much of a break. And the one time he did, it was like, eh, now she's dead. And exactly. With her first love. You, but but I, I knew the moment that they started talking about it. She's like, okay, well one of them's gonna die. No, yeah. I, they foreshadowed it the entire episode, though, to be honest. Like, I was, when, like, when they killed her, I was sad, and I was just surprised, because, like, it was the moment, and they just, like, stabbed her, and I was like, oh my god, no, but, like, in theory, I kind of figured that if Isaac didn't die, she was gonna, because, like, first of all, they had the whole, like, conversation with her and Chris that was like, hey, I know I don't say it enough, but I love you, and I'm proud of you, and I'm proud of us, and then they had her make her silver arrowhead, and then there was a conversation with Isaac, and then they had, they made this big show of, like, putting the camera on her as she, like, drew her bow to save Isaac. And then, like, she did, and the Oni, like, disappears or whatever. And then it's, like, all happy, and, like, it's just on her, and, like, then they stabbed her. And I was, like, I kind of saw that coming. I'll be honest, I'm not even going to try and save myself out of the fact that I didn't know. I'm not even going to try and explain that away. Like, I just, I didn't see it coming. I had spent so much time preparing for Isaac to die that I was not prepared. Yeah, I'm aware. Yes, it does suck for Isaac, but Isaac had his moment with Allison in the car earlier in the episode, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm kind of glad that, at least for Allison, Scott was endgame. In her final moments, Scott was the one that mattered, and just, that makes me very happy. But I didn't really lose it. Neither of us really lost it until Chris walked up. Oh no! That part and was, that was worse! He lost everyone! Chris has lost everything. The only thing, the only, like, request I have is for them to not pull a season to Allison where, because she the loses death her of mom, a family member, she goes bad. Like, spurns a downward spiral. And Chris has come too far. And especially since Chris knows, apparently, like, who was shooting at the twins and everything, like, I just don't want him to, like, suddenly be like, yep, nope, I'm gonna go with them again and be bad. He has to... And I don't know, because Papa he has Argent, to, I love him so much. He has to honor his daughter's new code yes. instead of deciding, look where that got her, and going back to his old ways. So, continue in Allison's path, not yes. forge a new one. However, in the promo, it looked like him and Isaac were having a heart-to-heart -heart and a nice little hug, so I'm hoping that that means that he's not gonna go bad. God, there's been too many bonding moments with Derek to go back now. He I know! can't do that to us. Oh, I know! So, whose who's bullets were they? Who was shooting at them then? Kate. I'm, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still gonna go 
with Gerard? Because no, yeah, probably. where has he been this entire season? We haven't heard. It's probably Gerard. Anything about him? We haven't heard anything from him. I've been really happy, and I kind of forgot he existed. And then you said that, and I was like, "That's because that's what they wanted." I have to remind that's myself every wanted. couple episodes that, that he, he still exists. He's still a problem. Because I will not let that fucker sneak up on me. Not I again. Won't. Not again. It's not not happening. Happened once, won't happen again. Who knows? Not I. I don't know. Deputy Parish. Totally gonna be something too. What is he? Oh god. What, what is, is he? he? What is he? What is he? Can we can we can we make him not evil? I just Thanks. felt drawn here. Oh yeah. Okay. Deputy Parish. The thing is though, which is he probably doesn't know. No, he might not know. He might be. Olivia. I don't think he knows. Mm. I feel like there would have been more. Like, I'm trying to decide. I don't think he's a banshee. I don't think he's a banshee. I feel like we would have known if he was a banshee. Already. And he'll be a new thing. Yeah, I'm I'm banking on new. But I just realized. What? Parrish gets to meet the Oni in the next episode because we still haven't seen the thing where the Oni storm the uh, station, station and the sheriff shoots him down. Oh shit! So that's still gonna be in the that's still gonna be in the finale. So don't worry, Ryan Kelly lovers. There will be more Ryan Kelly next week. I just really don't want like the the season to end where it's like Parrish is the new bad for next season. Oh, please don't do that. Like I don't want that. That is not a thing that I want. I like him too much. He's so pretty. But it's also like, it's getting to that point where it's like, do I just really like this new character? Or are you purposely making me, me like, like this him. new character so, so much like you did with Jennifer so you can turn them into the bad guy? Always and forever. Oh, I'm s I am knew Jennifer was coming and I knew from the beginning because I liked her so much. Don't do that to me two seasons in a row. No. God, Jennifer Blake was so great. She was so great. Ah, sassy brunette English teacher. <laughs> AKA. Brittany. <sighs> With an intense, dangerous, obsessive love for Derek Hale. AKA Brittany. <laughs> God, and then Lydia screaming Allison. No, that, I feel like that, that was, I feel like honestly that broke my heart more than seeing Chris. Kind of loving this whole stabbing the new Kitsune is not gonna kill Styles. Guess what? What? Isaac is still alive. Isaac is still alive. Isaac is still alive! Yes. Really want Lydiac so badly. <laughs> support oh system, God. support That's system so over Allison. That is all I want. Literally, that is my biggest ship. Even though it's like there's not, not even literally. Come I back think, when your bike has an engine. Oh my God. Please. Literally, I don't think they've like had a single like they, they've had one conversation, and it was like Isaac being a little shit to her, and like that that was it. They've had one conversation, and yet I, I shipped them so hard. I shipped it so hard. That is my biggest ship. Aside from Scallison, which is now over. <gasps> yeah, that one was a little sudden. Sorry. That was. About it. Oh, God! <laughs> Sorry. Papa McCall. I have several things to say on the subject of Papa McCall. Yes. One. Here we go. This is going to be good. This the secret, secret is so disappointing. She was really angry about it, actually. Rapid scene change because Allison fell asleep. Welcome to the, the girls' room. room. I feel really short. I'm going to stand on my tiptoes. This is this. what happens when we stand. In case you were wondering. I'm actually really short and Brittany's actually really tall and so this is what happens. I was kind of really disappointed in the McCall family secret. I was expecting <laughs> it to be something bigger than that. I know. I understand why that would like really bother like Agent McCall and whatever but, but like also, the way the Nogitsune was taunting it, Melissa yeah. there is no way that Scott would hate his mom for that. Yeah no like even like there's no reason first of all and even if it was like oh well Melissa never told him the truth or told him a lie like he wouldn't hate his mom for that he'd just be like well why'd you do that? Like, it wouldn't be, like, a whole thing. Especially, like, Scott McCall, who doesn't Baby hold Angel Scott McCall. No, I don't Made of so. Sunshine Scott McCall. Like, no, that's not, nah, not a man. thing. And the other thing that we wanted to talk about was... Coach! Oh. After, after so many weeks of, like, okay, you're talking about him, but is but he, he actually okay? okay? Is he alright? Stop talking about him and then not talking about him. No one knows. I need to see that this man is alive. And he came back with such a bang. It was so Such happy. a bang. I was so proud. I love Coach. I love, love, love oh Coach. Oh, I'm so proud of him. I've always loved Coach. And Coach, oh my god, he was so badass. And all I wanted for him to do was to punch that guy from Eichen House in the face. And then he, he did one better and he tasered him. Twice. It was great. And totally just like, well here's deserved. this new girl who puts the safety of some of his favorite students above this random chick from a, a, mental, a mental institution, institution who just wandered in. And it's just like, yeah, no, bad things are going to happen if you don't, bad things are going to happen to these kids if, if you don't you, do this. And yeah. you know what? 
coach rolls with it because yes. coach knows coach deep knows. down. And then, of course, there was our, our little bit of Danny, our, our polite <laughs> Danny, who was just like, we have a, a guest. No, there's, no? there's extra. No, what if like Coach and Danny found so out lovely. about the supernatural? I want them to. I hope that Danny will eventually find out because Danny's been in this long enough. But like, what would Coach do? Coach Can you would imagine? Be like, I Coach would be like, I have not had enough to drink. I'm on drugs. Yeah, Something but then it happened. would eventually be Coach just like, okay, so can you bite everyone on the team? <laughs> can that be a thing? It would. No one oh will know. God, it would be great. I just, I want everyone to know about the supernatural while also having no one know. <laughs> like, it still needs to be a secret because like otherwise shit would go down, but also tell everyone. That's, that's that. That's that. That was insatiable. Yep. Okay. Remember? Insatiable. I do now. I do now. Uh, Why would you do that? Don't we get have to, to go to, to my little snow. We have to go no. to bed soon. Why did no. you do that? Why? No. She's gone.